Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl, Felicia, here with another video. I told y'all I was going to be giving y'all videos while I was at home because of the Rona, and I think I am doing a damn good job of kicking these videos out. I mean, really, like I'm giving y'all two, three videos a week. We is cooking with gas, honey. So I asked on Instagram, if you guys would want me to do a kind of work from home, makeup look. I know some of us, like I'm not working from home. I'm just home from work. But I know some of y'all are working from home, which means you have conference calls and video meetings and things like that that you have to do. Now, even though, like I said, I'm, you know, just home from work, I've had a few little video uh what you want to call them, like video, you know, situations. We done turned up. I turned up last night for my girl's birthday. So, yeah, I mean, you might need to do a little video turn up and you might want to get cute for that. So, we just going to do a cute little look for that real quick. Take a little sip of my coffee. And we going to wait. So, we going to get right into it. I'm not priming my face because... I feel like you're in the house. You might not even keep this makeup on. This might be something you don't want, like I said, before the video conference meeting, your chats, whatever you about to do. So you really don't have to prime your face. I did put a serum on my face. So it's make, it is kind of sticky. So I'm hoping that the products that I use stay on there. But again, I'm not trying to get this stuff to last all day. This just for a couple of hours. Do your little conference call and be on. I'm going to start with BB cream. I'm not using foundation for this look. I'm just going to apply some BB cream. And I'm using the BB cream because it's lightweight. You don't really want all that heavy foundation on your face right now. And BB cream does, you know, other things as well. It helps with the complexion and um, gives you a more natural look. So we're going to start with that. And I'm just going to blend that right on in with my blending sponge. So what have y'all been doing while y'all at home? Like outside of working, like do you have a schedule? I did a video about that, about creating a schedule. And I have a schedule. I've done some challenges. I've played Taboo on Facebook Live. I know y'all saw DJ Nice. Please tell me y'all was tuning in to DJ Nice with him DJing. Like those, like that just made my day. When he was doing that, that made my weekend. I was just like, I felt like I was at the Hat Park Brew Fest, just out kicking it. Like, I enjoyed it. And then Sunday, Sundance, which is a popular DJ in Chicago, she got on there. She started DJing and doing house music. So, I've had a good time being at home, like, I haven't went stir crazy yet. I've been finding ways to really, really, really entertain myself. And I think that is key. So now what I'm going to do is just add a little concealer under my eyes just to pick up my face a little bit. Just to kind of wake me up a little bit. You don't want to get on there. Look like the corona is just tearing you down or like you just tired. And I'm going to do a little bit on my forehead only because I have like some dark spots on my forehead, which I just can't understand what that's about. We go ahead and blend this out. And the concealer that I'm using is the e.l.f. What is this? The e.l.f. 16 hour camo. Yeah, e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. 
I was having a conversation with my girl that I do my podcast with. And I just want to salute y'all that are in the health industry because y'all are really, you know, on the front lines doing the, the most work. And she's a part of that industry. But I don't know why I was under the... Um, I'm fixing my nose ring. I don't know why I was under the misconception that if you was working from home, that you probably was just doing like a couple of hours out the day and then, you know, knocking out your task and then you like had the rest of the day. But I'm hearing some of y'all is like sitting and working like eight, nine, 10, 12 hours, honey. And I just want to say, I'm so sorry for you. Like that's got to suck. I don't like sitting at my desk for eight hours, but to be at home, sitting in front of a computer. Mm. Well, I guess it's the same as sitting in front of the phone, but you're doing what you want to do. But hey, I salute y'all and, you know, kudos to y'all. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera. Yes, we're going to do the brows because, you know, you don't want to, you know, we already struggling. Like nails ain't done. Can't get your nails done. Your eyebrow, you can't get your eyebrows taken care of because mine is starting to look a little crazy. But it's great, you know. It's a great time to fill up, you know, let them grow in. Get them spots filled in that was overarched or overwaxed or whatever. So this is a great time for that. But you definitely want to do something to them before you get on that video call. So I'm going to do mine off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, eyebrows is done. Let's get in some more into this face. So now that my eyebrows is done and everything, I'm going to go ahead and set my face. And what I'm going to use this time is my Fenty powder. And I like to use this when I'm like not really doing a heavy look because the Fenty powder, the Fenty, a lot of Fenty products oxidizes and so does this powder. So it kind of helps to add to the complexion without doing too much. So I'm just going to brush that all over my face like so. Just to set everything without having some bacon cake because we're not doing all that. Add a little bit more up. And wound this go ahead, flow head. Take that down like so. I'm going to do a little something to the eyes. I'm trying to get into doing more with my eyes, doing more eyeshadows because I really don't. And I need to. So we're just going to do a little something. It's not going to be too much. It's not going to be crazy. This just about to be a quick little boom, boom, and we're going to be done. I'm using the Violet Voss Accentuals. I'm sure I got this in a boxy charm. So, yeah. And... Did you guys see my March subscription box video? That's also, you can go check that out. Go on to just binge and watch my video, child. You know, you at home. So I'm going to start with sand. And I'm just going to apply that on the lid. We're just going to add some definition to the eye. What I was saying is, you know, my mom, even though her makeup style and some of her ways that she do her makeup has makes me cringe, I will say that my mom can get up every morning and she would throw on some eyeshadow. And I'm like, if she can do it, I can too. So don't ever say I ain't never take your advice because I know she watching. So what I'm going to do is take my crease brush and I'm going to use terracotta and just throw that in the crease, like in the outer corner and along my crease. Again, all I'm doing is just giving this eye some definition. Not too much. We ain't giving them too much. Just a little something, you know. This terracotta is a little oranger than what I wanted. I wanted something a little bit more neutral, but we here now, so. 
but I would definitely have done this with um, a more neutral color because what I really just wanted was definition, but we here now, so. And I ain't changing. So I'm just gonna take this. Nope, no, I'm not. All right, so that's it for the eye for right now. Like I said, I did want something a little bit more neutral. I didn't realize this terracotta was as orange as it was, but I got something to fix that. So we're not gonna do a whole bunch of eyelining and, and all that other good stuff. I'm about to just pop in some mascara and this is the Rimmel Scandalous Mascara. We just gonna pop that on. Like so. And I don't think this is a waterproof, so I'm gonna have to let this dry a little bit. So I put some eyeliner on, just because like I said, the when you're in a conference or a video chat, the focus is on your face. So you kind of want your eyes and everything to kind of pop, you know, you just want to look refreshed, you know, when you're doing these meetings. Now, because this eye is bothering me, I am going to take a bronzer, my bronzer, and I'm just going to pop that right in the crease to kind of separate that color and give me more definition which is what I wanted. Cause like I said, that terracotta was a little too orange for me. You want your eyes to look neutral. And a tr good trick is, even if you're not doing this for this, it's just for everyday look, you can take your bronzer and pop it in your crease to give your eyes a little definition and help them pop. So there, that PSA has been brought to you by me. Feet. Okay, next, we done with the eyes. We done with the eyes. So we about to go ahead and add some blush and I'm using my tried and true Milani Berry Rays Color Harmony Blush. I love this blush. I wear it all the time because I feel like it does everything. It has highlight, it has color, it does, it is, it's a wheel. It has, you know, Ezekiel saw the wheel and somebody put it, and made it a blush. So here we go. Just gonna pop that right. On the face. I ain't gonna be contouring and all that. No, you are gonna get this roundness. There you go. So now we've done all that. Let's get to the lips. I'm keeping the lips simple as well. Y'all know I really do a lot of color on my lips anyway. So there I've lined my lips with NYX Suede Lip Liner. This is Soft Spoken. And I'm going to go ahead and fill my lips with the MAC um, Syrup Lip Color. One of my favorites. Y'all know I'm a nude color girl, so I love a nude, I love a soft pink mauve type color. And that's it. That's it. I am ready. <laughs> what a next conference party at. I'm ready. Let's turn up. Whoop, whoop. I'm going to go ahead. I'm using this Iconic London Prep Set Glow. This was something else I got in my BoxyCharm boxes. So I'm going to use this and just spray my face. Not so much for setting. I like this because it gives you a glow or whatever. So that's why I'm using it. Just to pick my face up again because once again, you don't want to get on these conference calls looking tired worn out you want to kind of look office office ready like you would if you was walking into work like you don't go to work looking tired and dry well at least i hope you don't 
So, you know, you kind of want to have that same energy when even when you're doing these conference calls. And so that's it. This is the complete look. I hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drink your water. Wash your hands. Mind your business. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.